Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about the iPhone X in 2024. So I'm going to be giving you few facts why you should not consider buying an iPhone X in 2024. So I'm going to be giving you some of the things you should consider while you're or if you're considering buying this phone in 2024. So the iPhone X was released in 2017 and if we are to count it's been almost uh seven years down the road and this was one of the best iphones to be released on the market uh it takes that it brought out the new designs of the iphone you know the very nice finished back glass on the iphone the double and camera at the back that you know were horizontal from the diagonal which was on the iphone 8 plus and 7 plus and this phone brought you know the iconic notch that has been on iphones for quite some generations from the iphone x 11 12 uh up to iphone 13 so it also brought you know the era of face id on iphone and i'm going to be giving you some of the specs you should consider if you're to get this iphone in 2024 this is one of the iphones i shouldn't recommend you to buy and one of the reasons why i can't recommend you to buy such an iphone in 2024 is there are other you know options that are at least a little bit you know cheaper and are in a good price range where you can get value for money one of the things is this phone no longer receives updates as you know the iphone x are uh, totally stopped on uh, the update of uh, if you see if you update your iphone x it will stop on ios 16 so this phone no longer receives updates and it's better to buy an iphone that still gets software updates for example if you get the iphone 11 in 2024 that would be quite good because you still get that bonus side of software updates plus if you consider you know uh, the upgrade in the chipset used in the newer iphones they are more capable and they deliver very perfectly for example if you have to check the cameras on this phone it has decent cameras but they won't be able to you know compete with uh, the current uh, iphones on the market for example the 11 which has a little bit bigger sensors or the 12 or the 12 pro the 13 pro which are uh, on the current market so for an iphone x the main reason why i'm like saying this phone is quite outdated so it looks perfect it was one of the most portable iphones to ever be put on the market and if you're looking for a budget smartphone to start with in 2024 and you're going into the iphone route you don't have that budget to buy a high-end you know iphone the 15 the 14 pro max the 13 pro max the 12 pro max all you're going to do is and you have the budget of buying maybe an entry level iphone for example the iphone x currently goes for 150 dollars and uh, if you put that in dirhams it goes for around 600 dirhams or 650 depending on the person you're buying the phone from so it's in that sweet spot of being the most budget flagship iphone in 2024 but is it worth buying and one thing that puts down the iphone x is you know the software update and that's a big big point if you're to get an iphone as this stops on ios you know 16 and ios 17 has many capabilities built in it as you know iphone is one of the companies that gives a very long uh, software update to their phones that goes to five years which is quite good and huge for example if your person who has used an iphone and you are on ios 17 you know ios 17 is much better compared to 16 the features added in are uh, more things are given to uh the new software update being released so if you're getting an iphone my point i normally stick to that of software update it doesn't uh you know iphones are not 
uh, normally they don't normally work as you know the samsungs the oppos because for them there is no much difference of the software update for example the android 8 9 10 11 they all look almost alike uh, starting from mostly the android 9 10 and 11 they made major changes on android 12 and if you have been seeing the trend android 12 13 and the recently released uh android 14 they all almost look alike as android 12 a person who has android 12 and 13 they basically have the same experience and uh, that doesn't apply to iphones for example and a person who has ios 18 has a very different experience compared to a person who has ios 16 on an iphone x and another thing if you're to get this phone trust me you're going to get this phone when its battery is weak because it has spent much of the time on the market and batteries degrade over time and most uh, the challenge you're going to get most if you're using this phone you're going to get knockoff parts as you know the screen uh the battery because it's hard for a person to hold a phone for seven years and it will still have uh genuine parts that it was you know built with straight out of the company so you will be getting this phone because you'll get it in uh the used sector so you'll be getting a used iphone x and that means you're getting a used battery a used screen so the entire phone is used and the motherboard has worked for quite a long time and being honest this phone still surprises me in 2024 because it still performs to the fullest the iphone x this is quite a nice phone it has that you know nice feel of the iphone the iconic notch the face id so another downside on this it's you will be getting uh you know parts that are not original or parts that never came with the phone for example i uh, will get a phone and you will find you have a battery health of maybe 20 percent if you want an original battery for this iphone or even 17 percent and that would be able to work for you so most times you will find you're having a phone with a new or a serviced battery and those batteries tend to you know uh, don't they don't deliver as the parts made are uh, from uh, the phone and another thing on this phone uh the good thing iphone maintained its original design so on the design part there are no much flaws because uh if you're holding it like this plus the iphone 11 or the 12 they totally look alike anyway guys thanks for watching see you on the next one